Good morning, everybody. Um, so we got some news two days ago about bonus drops for the Gungans coming up starting at the beginning of June. So June 3rd through June 6th, that's four days of bonus drops. And uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video, I wasn't planning on doing anything for this, but over those two days, I've received numerous Discord PMs. Um, I've received numerous tags on our Discord server, basically asking the question, hey, does it make sense for me to bring Captain Tarples to seven stars in order to access the Zetas for this bonus um, event? Now, here's the problem, and the reason why everybody is making the same mistake. This bonus event is not like the Cal Kestis event that just happened. In the Cal Kestis event, essentially, no matter what um, one of his requirements you brought to seven stars, you would be able to access Zetas as a Cantina bonus drop. Uh, in this event, it looks like each Gungan is tied to their own bonus. So if you were to take those 10 to 12 days to bring Captain Tarples to seven stars, you would get um, Chirotech on fleet notes. What you actually need to do is get Gungan Phalanx to seven stars. And the problem there is that he's not actually farmable yet, right? Um, there has been some chatter on Reddit and Discord and, and some people angry that um, CG has locked the most important of the bonus drops through a character that's not even farmable. And that's not by accident, right? We as players are in a pretty heavy Zeta crunch, especially if you've bought Lightspeed bundles, and especially if you're in the mid game and you're, you're building up tons of teams at once. Uh, and CG is basically saying, hey, we've, we sold you the solution to your old problem of catching up and gave you a new problem of being in a Zeta um, crunch. Now let me sell you the um, the solution to your new problem, which is those Zetas. Uh, so when I corrected a bunch of these people on Discord, uh, believe it or not, quite a few of them came back to me and said, well, wait a second, I'm actually willing to spend the crystals to bring Phalanx up if it makes sense, right? I will shipment farm him if it makes sense from a Zeta perspective. So last night I sat down, I did the math, I put together a couple of scenarios and uh, well, Let's just uh, take a look. There we go. So I put together four scenarios for this event. The first scenario is that you basically just got your five free shards. Okay, you didn't do anything else. You're really far on phalanx. The second scenario is that you did your two packs, you got your five shards, and you bought the extra, or you got the free tiers each day. So you got overall 40 total free extra shards. Um, on top of those two extra that you purchased originally. The third scenario is that you brought Tarples uh, Phalanx to five stars. And the fourth scenario is that you brought Phalanx to eight, uh, six stars. So essentially we're looking at between 8,000 and 21,600 crystals spent overall just to bring this character to seven stars to get Zetas, right? And you might be somewhere in between. Maybe you bought a pack and you got like 25 and, and you're a little ahead or a little bit behind. But this is going to be a good baseline for you. So first up, what we want to do is we want to break down um, different scenarios that we'll have for refreshes. Now I've brought the Cantina refreshes up to five refreshes and a full 1000 um, preload uh, of energy. So that'll take about two days. And I've I've done videos and I've, I've done Reddit threads on this very specific phenomenon in the past and you guys can look for that if you want to know how to do that most efficiently. Um, but a couple of things that are important here. We're looking about four days. We're looking about um, a thousand energy as a preload. We are looking at getting your bonus energy each day. So it's 165 energy each day on top of the refresh. And we are assuming, and I really, really, really want to put this word out there, and I really want to stress that we are assuming a Zeta drop rate of 2%. Now, why are we assuming a Zeta drop rate of 2%? I'll show you. Between my and Captain Amazing's Discord server, right, where we have our lovely friend Dex here tracking bonus drops, and the event server where he does a great job of, of rallying thousands and thousands and thousands of more people the last time that there was a zeta event right we tracked about five thousand battles 
over all of the players, and we came up with a drop rate of about 2.1% per energy spent. Okay, I did a little bit of the data here. Dex deserves all of the credit for putting everything together and, and, and organizing everybody. Okay, so 2.1%. That's still a relatively low battle count, 5,000, when you consider how many people play this game. And I just have a funny feeling that CG likes to use nice, easy round numbers, um, as well as just playing conservatively here just to be safe, right? So we're gonna use a 2% per energy spent uh, figure for our math, just in case. All right, so we're looking at two things for each refresh amount. We're looking at um, a specific refresh threshold. So right now, five refreshes with the preload. And we're looking at that same refresh amount, five refreshes with no preload. And we're looking at a rough refresh cost. The reason that I say rough refresh cost is because how much the preload itself is gonna cost you is entirely dependent on you as a player and how quickly you wanna do that. If you're gonna do it all in one day, it's gonna cost you a little bit more. If you're gonna do it over the course of two to three days, it's gonna cost you a little bit less. So, but that, I mean, isn't going to factor into the overall cost and the cost per Zeta as much as we think it's going to, because when we go into sheet three here, we're gonna break it down as a total cost, which is gonna include the shards from the scenario, right? So as an example, five refreshes a day and a preload, if you only got your free shards for Gungan Phalanx, it's gonna cost you about 25,000 crystals total, with a total cost of 307 um, crystals per Zeta, all right? Now, if we were to go all the way down to the other side, kind of the same idea. Five refreshes with a preload. Scenario four, you're already at six stars, okay? We are looking at 140 crystals per Zeta. Now, this is all meaningless math right now, right? And we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this sheet for you to kind of cross-reference and look and back and forth because it's not important yet. We don't know if these prices are good, okay? And what's important here and what the question asked was is are the prices good even if I shipment farm my phalanx? So we did a little bit of digging and there's essentially two fairly good packs that can come around for you to get Zetas. The first is a daily deal and I've seen different daily deals here, right? Four different things, oh, there it is. I've seen different daily deals um, for different Zeta amounts, but the best one that I've seen so far includes seven Zetas for 1,600 um, crystals. The other things in there are gonna factor the price down a little bit, but let's be honest, nobody's buying this deal for um, five Cantina signal data. Nobody's buying this deal for 10 Cantina signal data. Nobody's buying this deal for um, carbonate circuit boards, right? You're buying this specifically for the Zetas only. And with that daily deal, we're looking at about 228 crystals per Zeta as our cost. That's not terrible. People buy this pack when it comes up and when it does, great. I don't at all um, not recommend it. That's a double negative. I don't like that, doesn't matter. I do recommend it if you're in a severe data crunch. I'm at the late stages of the game. It's not something that interests me. We also have our Zeta upgrade pack, right? We're very familiar with this one. You get a um, an amount of Zetas and possibly some Omicrons. Originally, people were buying this for a chance at, at a chance at Omicrons. If we take a look at this pack, we bundle up all of the the um, costs, the prices, the amount you get. We're gonna get an expected value of 5.2 crystals per Zeta. And your expected value is kind of, uh, in layman terms, it's like your weighted average. So if you were to buy this every time this came around, you can expect about 5.2 Zetas per pack overall, which gives us a 240 crystals per Zeta cost. All right, so we're looking at about 228 crystals per Zeta, 
to 240 crystals per zeta as our best overall cost right now before this zeta event. Boom. Now, in this scenario, I've actually gotten rid of scenario one. And the reason that I got rid of scenario one is that when I looked down the path of everything there, there were none of the prices that made sense if you were just looking for Zetas, right? So if we were to come back just so that we can look at scenario one, the absolute cheapest cost is 307 crystals per Zeta. That is way above even that EV pack, the Zeta upgrade pack. So we're getting rid of that. I would 100% not recommend shipment farming phalanx unless you are absolutely desperate if you are in scenario one. Now, with scenario two, three, and four left, I've broken this down, and I see that I did not color this one right here. We can do this real quick, right? Let's pop that in there. I've, mm, yeah. I've broken this down as red, yellow or green okay red basically means i would a hundred percent not recommend um you shipments farm if you are planning to do things these certain ways so for example if you're in scenario two you brought your character and you got two packs you got your free shards you built those up over the seven days the only only, only scenario in which I would shipment farm phalanx right now is if you are planning to do five refreshes a day and preload your energy. You're going to get a 258 crystal per Zeta cost. It's still higher than both packs we isolated, but it's not terrible. We see that in scenario three, right? So you brought him to five stars total. We have a little bit more leeway at that five refresh per day and preload, we're getting a cost of 224 crystals per Zeta. And when we look at this here, that's even better than the daily deal, right? Not by much, but if you've got the crystals to burn or if your wallet is fat, send it my way, um, this is not a terrible idea. In the same respect, if you're in scenario three and are looking to do a preload, you can do pretty good with four refreshes per day or three refreshes per day, but only if you're planning to preload. Without those preloads, those costs jump astronomically. Now, if you are in scenario four, you currently have phalanx at six stars, and I happen to know of at least one monkey uh, who's in this situation specifically, and is responsible for me spending two hours putting together all this math last night, you are in a much, much, much better position, right? If you currently have phalanx at six stars, there is a lot of green here. If you end up doing five refreshes per day and preload, you are looking at a zeta cost of 140 crystals per zeta for your 81 zetas that you should hopefully receive. That is a huge discount on the daily deal. That is a huge discount on the Zeta upgrade pack. And we can actually go all the way down to one refresh per day with a preload and still have an amazing deal at 200 crystals per Zeta. So if you currently have Phalanx at six stars and you've got some crystals to burn, this is not the worst way to spend those crystals, especially if you're hurting for Zetas as badly as a lot of the player base. Now, before we finish up, the one thing that I want to remind you of is that this is entirely speculative. We do have drop rates for the last like 50 to 60 bonus drop events, and they're not always completely consistent. They do stay relatively close over a short period of time. And I would not put out a post that I felt was 100% speculative without any degree of validity behind it or any degree of mathematics behind it. So I do think that there is a very strong chance that we're gonna see that two to 2.1% 2 drop rate per energy spent. Um, but that's my disclaimer there. 
just remember, CJ does have a habit of changing things. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Realistically, eight, uh, 81 Zeta materials is four Zetas. It's not a terribly large amount in the grand scheme of things when we have like 200, 300, 400 Zetas in the game, whatever it is, okay? So here's the math. Here's what it looks like. We have, it is 524 right now. We have a little bit over a week until this event starts. You're going to have to make your decision most likely um, in this next week because of the shard shop rollover. Whatever you do, I wish you best of luck with those bonus drops. And if you want more stuff like this, join us on Discord, all right? I'm active there. Uh, our other creators are active there. We've got a lot of good stuff. I put out a lot of material um, to help the player base. So I'll see you either on Discord, here again on Sunday for brunch, or maybe you'll be my GAC opponent. Peace out.